who gets to heaven? So I really like this question, and I'm going to give a very short answer, then I'm gonna to try to explain why I'm giving this answer. My short answer is those united to Christ. Full stop, that's it. Those united to Christ. Now, the reason why I am phrasing it this way is because in the church, we recognize that we are striving to be united with Christ. But since the very beginning, there has been those in the church that have rejected Christ. For example, Judas Iscariot, one of the 12, one of the apostles, one of the first bishops of the church, rejects Christ from the very get-go. Um, and so, though he walked with them, though he was part of the church, he was not united with Christ. And so too, there is always that danger. Um, so I don't want to simply say those that are Catholic. Um, however, I do say that there is a responsibility to follow where Christ leads. And I would argue, obviously, that the truth subsists in the Catholic Church, that the Church of uh, Christ is the Catholic Church. And so we have an obligation to follow where Christ leads. Now, what do we do with those who through no fault of their own do not have knowledge of Jesus, that don't have knowledge of his church, that have never met a Christian in their life? Well, the Catechism talks about this. Um, and it says that those who through no fault of their own do not know Jesus will be judged according to how well they actually tried to find the truth, that they lived according to the dictates of their conscience, that they were striving to find this unknown God, that they were trying to follow Jesus, though they did not know him. So there is this idea that there is a possibility that those that don't even know who Jesus is could be part of the mystical body of Christ. A great image of this is actually in C.S. Lewis's uh, The Final Battle in the Chronicles of Narnia, in which a person had never met Aslan, that's the symbol for Jesus, never met Aslan, was serving Tash his whole life, but he truly wanted the truth, he just had never had an encounter. And so when Aslan encounters this, um, uh, this man, he says to him, all the things that you have done for Tash, I will count as though you had done for me. Because this man had sought what was good, but he never had that encounter. Um, so, uh, long story short, those, that catch, those who are united with Christ are those that go into heaven. That's the long and the short of it.